Greetings all, Shane Bruce, Rest of My Daisy with an exciting presentation today. I got this uh, 1140, uh, number 111, model 40 in a couple of weeks back, but I've been so busy with the uh, number 111, model 40 slash 27 conversions that I have not had time uh, to shoot a short video and uh, show the viewership of uh, the latest acquisition here at Rest of My Daisy. It's a fabulous gun. I like the look because it's got the classic 300 Daisy telescopic sight on it. And we're going to do a little tour around the gun to show you how the uh, 300 scope fits on. It's got a front clamp and it's got a, a small L bracket that attaches to the top stock screw at the back. One of the neat things about the gun is it also has a whiz wheel that allows you to adjust the elevation of the scope. Uh, it does have glass elements in the scope with a rather crude etched uh, post on the front taking objective. So as you peer through the very narrow aperture and hopefully look downrange at your target, you'll have something to actually place the post on. Pull the trigger and see what happens. Kind of an anachronism when you think about it. You know, why in the world would anybody build an optical sight for a smoothbore limited range BB gun? Well, Daisy did, and I think the reason for it was because it just looks really cool. That's why I got it. Well, what I intend to do with the 300 on hand is to build a duplicate, a replica, and I intend to use either copper or brass tubing. Uh, I'll have to source or fabricate some objectives. I'm not quite sure I can make that work, but, you know, part of the fun is trying to, to do the job. So. In the end, we should be able to offer our Restomod 1140s with a Restomod 300-esque scope that has the whiz wheel adjustment. This is Shane Bruce, Restomod Daisy, signing off.